believe in the promise of America? Yeah. And are we willing to fight for it? Yeah. And when we fight, we win. Vice President Kamala Harris rallying supporters and staff as she embarks on her White House run after President Joe Biden opted to halt his reelection bid. Endorsements for the vice president come just four weeks before Democratic delegates converge in Chicago for their national convention. Our John Kipper spoke with some of those Missouri delegates and the youth about the hectic last 36 hours in American politics. John? Yeah, certainly so, Corey. In the last half century or so, both the Republican and Democratic conventions have largely been foregone conclusions with the winner of the primary being named the nominee. But this year, the primary winner, President Biden, has bowed out, putting the decision in the hands of delegates. Kamala Harris is clearly the lead in, leader right now in that position, but there's others out there. St. Louis County resident Nelson Minton will be going to his first Democratic National Convention next month as an at-large delegate. Sunday, President Joe Biden threw him and the rest of America a curveball when he said he will stand down and not pursue a second term. I'd like to get a chance to breathe and see what's going to go forward. While he's keeping an open mind, he thinks Vice President Kamala Harris can beat former President Donald Trump. She is a former prosecutor, and the uh, Canada on the other side is a convicted felon. And so we can't get away from that. That's reality. Democrats will meet Chicago for their convention starting August 19th, and there will be some like Michael Berg, another Missouri delegate, who plan to push Biden to change his stance on the Israel-Hamas conflict. That was part of the problem. That was part of the reason Biden's campaign had to end. He says he'll only endorse Harris if she calls for a ceasefire and pledges to stop sending weapons to Israel, saying young people are calling for it. These policies need to end. They need to be modified. That is one of their top concerns right now. Christian Bishop is vice president of the St. Louis Young Democrats and says support for Palestine and climate issues are important to younger voters. I definitely think anything relating to climate um, is an important decision to us and for the rest of our future. Almost all the Democratic leaders nationwide are endorsing Harris. Locally, Mayor Tashara Jones and Congresswoman Cori Bush also back her. In the conversations that I'm a part of, everyone is gathering around uh, Kamala Harris for the nominee. St. Louis Young Democrats Tashara Earl says she's been on calls consistently since Biden's announcement. And she feels the energy from Democrats. We are extremely excited. We are energized. It's like a breath of fresh air. Now there's a chance Democratic delegates here and nationwide will have to pick a nominee before the DNC. Now that's due to an Ohio law where Democrats may have to hold a virtual convention in the coming weeks in order to select an official nominee. Delegates I spoke with today say that process is still being worked out. Reporting in studio, John Kipper, First Alert 4. John, thank you. And we have been.